I'd be devastated. Someone I've known for my whole life, pretty much, turning on me like that. I'd be devastated, hurt. You know, back in the day, I've had that actually happen. A friend of mine tried to get a friend of his to pick be with my girlfriend behind my back. Want to? You want to say you'll forgive them because you know them, but if they turn their back on you, do you really know them? I would, I would, I would be very disappointed. Long story short, we're not friends anymore, and I can't say what happened, but we're not friends anymore. It hurt, but it also hurt for somebody else. Your best friend is supposed to turn the back on you. You know, best friends fight, best friends argue, best friends have disagreements, best friends don't always see eye to eye, but to completely turn his back on me, I can't imagine that. I guess it also depends on, you know, the degree that they, like, did they just turn their back on you? Did they stab you in the back? Did they, did they undermine you? Like, what was it? So I can't really say what I would do, but I know I'd be hurt regardless. I'm a firm believer that when someone shows you who they are, believe them. And um, if a friend was to turn their back on me, I would take it for what it is, take it as a lesson learned, and move forward. I would try to get closure and find out the disconnect and find out what went wrong, but ultimately, if I couldn't, I would just have to find a way to move on. So the question at hand is how do you feel when a friend turns their back on you? It would suck if a friend turns his back on me. So we're going to bypass all the questions about how close, and we're going to go straight for the kill zone, say if one of those friends that was close as a brother to you turns their back. It's an entirely different dichotomy because it stabs deep, but it rips out the heartstrings even more because every bit of time, sweat, and tears that that person has been by your side intensifies the rage and anger behind this betrayal. Wrong, almost criminally wrong, I think. You have to have a level of trust, for, particularly for the people who've been closest to you in life, and when that trust is abandoned, well, what else do you have? It's a crappy feeling, but you just got to move on from it. Two people over the course of this lifetime building a bond and one person deciding that it was to their benefit to rip that apart, it pisses me off. Plain and simple. <laughs>